What up, YouTubers? It's Matthew Vic, and it's the Jojo Lena. And it's Christmas time. You see that Christmas tree back there, guys? It's going to be another blessed year going into 2020. And if you guys are just starting your junk removal business, you guys need to know about taxes. If you guys are a legit business and you guys are going to pay your taxes, you got to know how to do it. You want to do it the right way. Because if you don't pay your taxes, Uncle Sam's going to come for your ass. And you don't want to end up in the pen and have to worry about your own ass. So pay your taxes, guys. So, yeah. We're going to talk about taxes today. This is part four, how to start a business. This is number four. So if you haven't watched part one, two, or three, what do you want them to do? Well, you should um, just stop for a second and go check out those videos um, first because they kind of go in order. And they're very helpful. So if you haven't watched them yet, you should watch them. But, um, yeah. So let's do this, guys. Pay your taxes and be a legit business. All right, now if you guys make a lot of money, you guys had a great year, and you're not good at doing taxes, you don't have a family member, or you don't know someone that does can do taxes for you, what I suggest to do is get a bookkeeper. It's a write-off anyways. We're too busy, so we don't got time to do it, so we got a bookkeeper that we pay to do it. It's a total write-off. We give her all of our information, and then we got a CPA. And it's really important to have a CPA. You want to have someone that knows numbers so he can show you how to save money or how much money you made that year and if you need to spend money just so you don't owe a lot of money to uncle sam guys so we're gonna go over some things that you guys need to know so first off you guys want to be organized you always want to be organized make life a lot easier so jojo got one of these where'd you get this at? it's a little binder it's like i don't know probably walmart it's it's an accordion folder, so when you open it up, it has, you know, the different compartments to put different things in. And I just stuck little labels, and so all the receipts go in, like, a, you know, they're separated, and they're organized, and you can find, and you know right away what you spent on um, every little thing. So it's really, it's really important because now that you're self-employed, um, you're going to see your income go up and you're also going to see the taxes that you owe go up. So um, saving your receipts is really important because, you know, you want to be able to write off and have as many expenses as you can so that it will make your taxes um, um, what you owe less. So, okay, go ahead and... Now let's back. talk about what you guys can write off. All right, let's get into it. You guys want to write off as much as possible. You want to put as much money money in your pocket as you can, then give it to the tax people. So let's go over it. Advertising. Anything you guys advertise, if it's a Craigslist ad, a Facebook ad, Google ads, a t-shirt that you guys pay for, some decals, any business cards, anything you guys have that is advertising, save it, have an envelope. Put all your stuff in there. Well, actually, we put it in this thing right here. But save all your receipts for everything you guys do. So that's what you guys want to do. Anything you guys advertise, save your receipts, guys. Yeah, and advertising is everything. It's, ev it's, um, it's your business cards. It's your signs you got done. It's the T-shirts that you're wearing. It's the logo on your truck. Um, it's um, your Craigslist ads or your Facebook ads or your... Google ad, ad um, words, and it's really, really important because advertising is 100%. Like, you get 100% of that back. Yeah, it's a total write-off, guys. So advertise. Now, next, tools. Write off your tools, guys. So, yeah, tools. You go to Harbor Freight, you buy that tarp, you buy that strap, you buy that hammer, you buy that saws all you go to home depot you guys spend a bunch of money it's a write-off guys so anything that is a tool a dolly save that receipt it's a write-off it's a write-off guys so that's what you guys want to do save all your receipts now don't be a dirtbag and find a receipt on the ground and pick it up and uh save it guys so anyways yeah and food now food anytime you guys take a client out to eat or anything like that save the receipt it's a write-off so don't matter if you go buy coffee for a client or just any food receipts you guys are out there doing the job and you guys go out to eat save that receipt and we go out to eat a lot guys so save your receipts now let's talk about these things right here guys so we do it the old school way we don't 
got the app or nothing like that. We do it the old school way. So some people are going to be like, don't do it that way. Do it this way. But anyways, this is the way we do it. Save all your miles. We have two trucks. So one truck has a black book. Other truck has a black book. And these were what? 99 cents at the dollar store? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a dollar at the dollar store, whatever it is. So anytime I drive anywhere, it don't matter where I go. If I go drop off some business cards that are real estate office, I'm writing that down. If I go to the dumps, I'm writing that down. If I'm going to a job and going to the dumps, I'm writing that down. It don't matter where I go. If it's a business ride, I'm writing it down, guys. So keep track of all your miles. All your miles. It's a write-off. I think it's like 50 cents a mile or something like that. So, yeah, save. Write down all your miles. Don't mess up. Drive around and not write it down because you're going to lose money. So make sure you guys have some books and write down all your miles. Or you guys can, say, or you guys can just save your gas receipts. Save your gas receipts. And uh, don't forget to get your gas receipts. You can either do it either way, miles or gas receipts. Now let's talk about maintenance. Maintenance. Anything that is an oil change, a tire, a car wash, save those receipts, guys. Save all your receipts on that. And that's a write-off. Yeah, so is, um, so is your registration and your truck insurance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about... Oh, got the gas, got the... Oh, maintenance. We just talked about maintenance. Oh, I'm repeating myself now. So maintenance, guys. Make sure you guys have a receipt for that. And let's talk about... You got those receipts, you don't know where the hell they go. Miscellaneous. You guys put that in that slot. You don't know where the hell it goes and let your bookkeeper figure that one out for you guys. So yeah. <laughs> Save all your receipts. All your receipts. Save them all. Now let's show you guys how we do it. I do it... We do it quarterly. So we pay our taxes quarterly so it ain't a lump sum at the end of the year and we just like... Ah. Oh, you don't want to spend that money, do it quarterly. So save all your dump receipts. We save them quarterly. I make it easy for the bookkeepers because I like to do, do it, make it easy for them. So we save all the receipts for the dumps. And this is like just a little one month receipts and it uh, makes it easy. Yeah. So. I, I like it when the dump receipts are like you just go through them at the end of the month and you kind of put them in order and then you do like one whole month worth and you clip them together. So you're not um, looking through hundreds of these trying to figure out which month they go, which month goes with which. So yeah, it organized. pay it quarterly guys, save all your receipts, pay it quarterly. So you guys don't get that fat bill you guys got to pay at the end of the year. And if you guys get a laptop, that's a write-off. An iPad, that's a write-off. You guys use it for the business, that's a write-off. If you guys have a room inside your guys' house that you guys use for business, it's a write-off. So get a CPA. He'll let you know a lot more information than I can let you guys know. But it's good to have them on the team so then they can save you money. Because if not, if you're doing it yourself, you can be losing a lot of money. So I would say get a CPA and a bookkeeper. That's just me. Yeah, they, they'll, they'll give you such good advice. It's, it's priceless. They'll tell you um, things that you can write off. And you were like, I had no idea we could write that off. Like, really? That's, that, you could write that off? So, um, that, and they, a really good CPA will tell you, too, if you're, um, like, starting to make too much money or slow down or spend your money here or do this or right now's the time to do this or don't do this till next year. So, um They'll give you really, really good advice. So I'm letting you know, guys, get a CPA. And yeah, we made a little bit too much money this year. So we had to spend a little bit, a lot, of, a little bit, a little, a little, a, little, a, little, a lot of money, to tell you the truth. So yeah. It's a surprise. It's a surprise, guys. So leave a comment down below. I got it custom made. It should be here in February. It's going to be nice, a game changer. We can't wait to show you. So yeah, we'll be here February, maybe a little bit early, earlier. I went there. And took care of it before the year was over with because the CPA told me, you need to go spend some money. You made a lot of money, so that's why I did. So it's coming, guys. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. We're not professionals at doing taxes, but we are telling you what we do know. So uh, Well, we, we're, we learned and we're still learning, but we thought that, you know, we'll give you a little, um, little bit of the knowledge that we've acquired so far. So I hope you guys are getting that cash flow, stacking that money. Hope you guys are hauling and balling. And I hope you guys are saving them receipts. So save your receipts and uh, get a bookkeeper. It's a write-off and get a CPA, guys. That's what I would do. Especially if you guys got that money coming in, that cash flow coming in. You guys just want to stack that up, save it, and just invest it 
into the right places. So I'm Matthew Vick with Sonoma Strong Hauling. This is the JoJo, and um, you want to add anything else? Yeah, well, hit the like and subscribe button. Oh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. And we got something coming real soon, so, oh, yeah.